the same when he was my age. Sirens and blue flashing lights. In the 30s, I'm pushing 95. We work out to eat. Just trying to get to you in time. We are the Life goes by fast when it slow down. We got older, where did it go now? Morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super super excited about today's video because first reason, this is one of the most highly requested video ever. After you guys watch my what I eat in a day to lose weight video and also seeing all my meals on my Instagram, you guys really want me to film the cooking and the recipes behind all the home cooked food that I eat every single day. So we'll be doing that today. And second reason is that today is finally the last day of our one month project comeback, which I'll talk more about that later. Because now I'll first bring you guys with me to the kitchen where I'll show you how me and my family cook and prepare some of my favorite healthy and yummy meals throughout the day. So breakfast, lunch, dinner will cover everything. So here is the kitchen but before we start, remember to first click subscribe and also the bell button next to it to turn on post notifications so you won't miss my new videos. Alright, if you guys are ready, let's start with breakfast first. So this is what I'm having today, pan fried egg, purple sweet potato, cherry tomatoes, and cucumbers. Here are all the ingredients. As you can see, we have protein, fiber, carbs, and plenty of nutrients. So I always make sure I have all kinds of nutrition in my diet. And as mentioned in the previous videos before, I don't count any calories, I don't count any macros. Because I know that restrictions and extreme diets just don't work for me, it led me to having bulimia eating disorder before. And since I recovered, my motto is work out to eat. I work out five days a week. I do healthy intuitive eating, so I eat healthy and responsibly in moderate amount, where I include protein, fiber, and carbs in all meals. And on the weekend or vacation, I also let myself enjoy cheat meals that I love. And for me, that's a healthy and sustainable way to live and just enjoy my life. So this is my breakfast for today and as you can see I also made extra that I'm leaving for tomorrow's breakfast. Breakfast time. Breakfast is ready and as you saw just now the only seasoning I use normally for breakfast is just a bit of salt and pepper just sprinkling on top and that's pretty much it. So yesterday is the last day of my one month project comeback which if you're new here and you don't know what it is, I'll link the video right up here. But long story short, I gained 10 pounds throughout the holiday period. I was eating just crazy like cheat meals every single day and to one point I just didn't feel healthy. So far I'm super happy with my own progress and it's really not just the number on the weight. I'm proud of myself for being able to stick with it and to get back on track with working out and healthy eating and that I didn't have to starve myself or restrict myself like how I used to during my bulimia eating disorder phase and I was able to still eat plenty of yummy and healthy food plus cheat meals on the weekend. I really want to thank you all of you for being part of this journey with me, especially in the past one month. You keep me going, you keep me accountable, and together we prove that it is possible to get fit and healthy and at the same time enjoy food and enjoy life because we work out to eat. Morning, boo boo! Morning, G. 
Kitty. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Kitty. Hmm, 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 hmm. You come here to get me, Kitty. My shot, shot, shot. Three hours later. So I just finished filming an intro for another workout video and now it is almost lunch time and I'm going to film my dad cooking lunch for us. So for lunch we'll be having broccoli, veggie and chicken dumplings and also seaweed noodles. This is the vinegar for the dumplings. I'm actually super 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 lucky because most of the time my dad cooks all the healthy yummy meals for us and sometimes my mom also cooks. My dad actually never really cooked much throughout his whole life because he was so busy working but since he retired he learned from scratch how to cook and now he's making all these super yummy and healthy meals for us every single day and you guys have asked me to film my parents cooking for quite some time so now let's go into the kitchen and see how my dad cooks so here are the dumplings that we got from the market and these are called seaweed noodles that we also got from the market. Mm. They're so small, so tiny, so cute. This is chicken. So lunch is ready. The dumplings, noodles, and broccoli. So this is my plate for lunch. You guys know that I always, always use the same plate for breakfast, lunch, and dinner so that I eat relatively the same amount. For the dumplings, we'll also get a bit of vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours later. So right now it is around 4 30 and normally I don't really have like afternoon snacks but if I do you guys would always see that I drink the soup that my mom makes so sometimes she makes like Chinese style sometimes she makes like Western style and today she's actually making one of our favorite um, Western style lentil soup which is super healthy has a lot of different nutrients fiber vitamins which I'll talk about it more later and now let's go into the kitchen and see how she makes it so these are all the ingredients, bay leaves that we got from Canada, lentils, we have orange and green, corn, lemon, potato, carrots, tomato, yellow bell peppers. You can also add other vegetables like celery if you want. It comes up. We're only using half of the yellow bell peppers. We're only using half of the yellow bell peppers. 
Now all the ingredients are chopped and ready to be made into soup. Cover 加少少就得了,剛剛cover到的ingredients。So my mom just said that how long you're supposed to cook the lentil soup depends on how much ingredients you have and how big of like a pot you're using since today we're making quite big of a pot so we're gonna have it cook for 30 minutes. It smells so good, guys. Cannot wait. Hey, you massage it, Gigi. Hey, Gigi. Hey, Gigi. Hey, So the way to check if it's ready yet or not is to see if the potatoes and the carrots are soft already or not. If they're still hard, cook it more. if you guys like your soap less watery, you can add less water, even like if it's half of what we added. But for us, we just like it this way more. All right, I'll get myself a bowl. Soap is ready. For me, I just love to have soap as my afternoon snack or morning snack or just to add it as part of my meals because it's so filling and it's such an easy and yummy way to take in all the vegetables and all the nutrients instead of having to eat it, you know, like vegetables piece by piece. It will taste even better if you leave it stand for like 15 to 30 minutes. It's so good you guys. I'm here getting my second bowl. But this time I only want the water. Because I'm quite full already. Later. And it's time to make dinner with Dad. So for dinner tonight, we're having rice with quinoa, fish, veggies with egg white, this is tofu, tempeh, red and yellow bell peppers. This is tempeh, we got it from Indonesian shops in Hong Kong. It's a kind of soy product, super super healthy. Tofu, also soy product, bell peppers. <laughs> Tonight we're trying this Indonesian soy sauce because tempeh is from Indonesia and my dad got this from the same shop. Chop into half.
等佢淋啲咯，炒嘅時候嚇嚇。嗯啊啊咁樣啊！你唔擠佢啊，你有排都唔乾嘅。嗱，鏈啊，唔好咁大鏈啊，就咁撒啲鹽喺度，撒啲鹽落去，撒啲鹽落去。唔使嘅。依只好咧，佢就冇五香粉嘅。Bell pepper chopped into slices. Same goes for the purple and the scarlet and ginger. 見到啲油漬嘅，中火煎下啲啊，少少，一陣先。咁啊，落埋豆腐。少大啲中國豉油咯，嗱，開完之後，就咁擺落嚟，就咁。I'm helping my dad to taste some of it. Hmm. Let me get one more. This is addictive, guys. I love tempeh. It's like the best for me. It's the yummiest. Vegan source of protein. Mmm, so good. Ah, how nice! This is a new camera. Let's open a little. Ah, let's get out. Yeah, this is a lot of egg. My dad is preparing the egg white now. I decided to steal another one. It's just so good. Mmm. 啲蓮藕咪要咁切，我中意用呢只先，我覺得。他的 ，and then is oh ready。Samsung yap fan fan happy rice with quinoa tonight. Yummy, yummy sauce. Yummy, yummy. 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 拜拜啦。I'm now packing my lunch box for tomorrow to bring to the office. Alright, guys. So I'm done with dinner. Packed my lunch, and now I'm just going to clean up and wash the dishes. So special thanks to my parents for being part of this video and also making such amazing meals every single day. I'm truly so lucky. And let me know if you guys like this video and if you want to see even more cooking videos with my parents. I just pulled some behind the scenes photos of. What we're filming today on Instagram story, and I already got some messages from you guys saying you want to also see my mom's Chinese style soup recipe and also my dad's homemade bread recipe. So just comment down below what recipes you want to see, and I'll talk to them. Maybe we'll film another one very soon. So this also marks the end of my one month project comeback, and tomorrow I'll be flying to Sri Lanka for my. 10 days beach holiday. Actually, only the first few days would be on the beach. The rest of it is just we'll be hopping around like different cities in the country and I'm so excited. I've never been to Sri Lanka. I should be uploading the vlogs in the next few weeks and show you guys what I'll be eating and doing in Sri Lanka. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys very soon. Because we work out to eat. <laughs>